Welcome back into Mid Morning on WKYT. We all have books that are just collecting dust on the shelves. It's time to bag those books and help make an impact across the globe. We welcome Todd Johnson and Chastity Neckers with the International Book Project. And we do thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having us. Big title. What does the International Book Project do? It is a big title. Um, we send books to the developing world. So since 1966, we started from very humble beginnings. Our founder, Harriet Van Meter, started everything from her basement, sending about 10,000 books. And uh, we've grown to send over 200,000 books each year uh, to about 40 or 50 different countries. Um, based here in Lexington. We are based here in Lexington. Yeah. It's, it's a unique place to be, uh, to have an international organization. But we also do things um, on a local level as well, partnering with such um, organizations as Habitat for Humanity and Kentucky Refugee Ministries to help those organizations. So we do things both internationally and locally. Yeah, right. So It is uh, across the globe, and <laughs> yes, that means yes. at home, too. <laughs> How do people help you? How do they donate to this project? Sure. They can donate all year long, a variety of ways, but we uh, kind of push it a little more at the end of the year, at the holiday season. You're going to get some new books for Christmas gifts, I'm sure, or buy it for yourself. So it's a great time to clear off that shelf, find the ones you haven't read that much, and get be able to donate those to us. And tell us about the impact that you feel that it has around the world. It, uh, when, when, it, when really people get these books who otherwise might not even uh, uh, get to have them. And that's what I try to convey to a lot of our donors and to our volunteers, is just the importance of a book. We often take it for granted here in the United States. It's just like an extension of our arm. And um, But when we send books overseas, it's like, actually Christmas Day um, uh, to open these and to and to receive them. Um, the impact that we're making is is that we're trying to do something that can alleviate some of the problems that we often see in the world and um, dispel, dispel some of the common misconceptions about the developing world um, and here in the Lexington community so it's a great thing. Now is there a, a certain type of book that you have a greater need for? You brought examples in here. Do you need children's books more or is it really across the board? Always need children's books. That's probably one of the main things that we're always needing. Uh, we're actually currently in the middle of packing a shipment that needs children's books. So if you have any on your shelf, you can always bring them. We take a variety of books, textbooks if you just finished college and you want to send some of your textbooks our way, that's good too. Sounds like a labor of love, you know, uh, from right here in Lexington to get those books around the world. And you do need uh, help uh, with that. And the event is a Bag Your Books that is uh, coming right up November 24th through January 2nd. And uh, look for uh, those bags at participating locations. Can't miss them, the bags. No, no, right. No. All right. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you so much for having us. Thank it's you. awesome.